My dad, once the world's greatest father in my eyes, changed dramatically after his divorce from my mom. For years, he had been my rock, attending every school play, soccer game, and parent-teacher conference. But that all changed when he met Linda. Linda was glamorous, charming, and everything my dad had ever wanted, according to him, anyway. They married within a year of meeting, and along with Linda came her two kids, Kyle and Brittany. And Brittany. Suddenly, I had a new family, whether I wanted one or not. At first, I tried to be optimistic. Maybe this would be good for all of us. But it wasn't long before I realized that, that my dad's priorities had shifted entirely. Every weekend that used to be reserved for our father-daughter time was now filled with activities for Kyle and Brittany. Soccer games, dance recitals, even simple trips to the park were all about them. One Saturday, I asked Dad if we could go fishing like we used to. He looked at me, almost as if he'd forgotten those days ever existed, and said, Sorry, champ, but Kyle has a big game. Maybe next time. Next time never came. Week after week, it was the same story. Brittany has a recital. Kyle needs help with his science project. We're taking a family trip. Family trip? I guess I wasn't part of that family anymore. My breaking point came on my 16th birthday. I had been looking forward to it for months, dreaming of a special day with Dad. But when the day arrived, he was nowhere to be found. Turns out he had taken Kyle and Brittany to a theme park. I got a text around noon. Happy birthday. We'll celebrate when we get back. Celebrate? With what? Leftover cotton candy and a cheap souvenir? Enraged and hurt, I decided to confront him when they got back that evening. I waited in the living room, the remnants of the cake mom had made sitting untouched on the counter. When he walked in, beaming from their fun day out, I couldn't hold back. Did you forget something, Dad? Like, I don't know, your daughter's birthday? He looked at me, guilt briefly flickering in his eyes before he plastered on a smile. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. The kids were so excited about the park, and I didn't want to let them down. We'll do something special tomorrow. Tomorrow? Really? Do you think you can fit me into your busy schedule of being the perfect stepdad? Linda, sensing the tension, quickly ushered Kyle and Brittany upstairs. Dad sat down, sighing heavily. You know it's been hard adjusting, right? They need me. Need you? What about me? I'm still your child too, remember? He tried to put a comforting hand on my shoulder, but I shrugged it off. I'm sorry, I really am. We'll fix this. Fix this? You've already replaced me, Dad. They're your family now, not me. I stormed upstairs, leaving him to ponder his choices. That night, I packed a bag and went to stay with Mom full time. She welcomed me with open arms, and though it hurt to leave my dad, I knew I deserved better. Months went by with minimal contact. I focused on school, friends, and building a life where I was valued. One day, out of the blue, Dad showed up at my door. He looked older, worn out. He handed me a small wrapped box and said, I know I've been a terrible father. I hope you can forgive me. Inside the box was a fishing lure, the same kind we used when we went fishing together. Tears welled up in my eyes. I don't need gifts, Dad. I need you to be there. He nodded, eyes misty. I'm here now, if you'll have me. I was about to respond when I noticed Linda's car parked at the end of the driveway. She was walking towards us. Dad looked at her and said, Now you're following me? Linda ignored his comment and approached us. Dad turned back to me. Linda wasn't just charming and glamorous, she was manipulative. She threatened me with something she knows about my past. Linda tried to interrupt, but Dad held up a hand. No, she needs to know the truth. He turned back to me. Years ago, before I met your mother, I was involved in something illegal. Linda found out and used it against me. She threatened to expose everything and ruin my life unless I did exactly as she said. I was stunned. What did she have on you? He sighed heavily. I was involved in a financial scheme, something I'm deeply ashamed of. I never got caught, but Linda found out and used it to control me. I stared at him, disbelief and anger battling within me. So you just abandoned me because she had something on you? I didn't know what else to do. I was scared. But when I saw what it was doing to you, I realized I couldn't keep living like this. I had to make things right. Linda started yelling, threatening to call the police. Dad remained calm. I've already spoken to the authorities. I'm ready to face the consequences of my actions, but I won't let you control me anymore. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. My father, the man I thought had chosen a new family over me, was finally standing up for himself. 
and for me. Linda's threats grew louder, but Dad turned to me. I want to make things right with you. I know it won't be easy, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm so sorry for everything. I took a deep breath, my emotions swirling. I don't know if I can forgive you right away, but I'm willing to try. Dad nodded, tears in his eyes. Thank you, that's all I can ask for. Um, as Linda continued to scream and threaten, I realized that for the first time in years, my father was truly present. It would be a long road to rebuild our relationship, but we would face it together. And that was a start.